you know, it's interesting that uh, Salt and Pepper bring that up. And uh, I would like to ask this question to the panel. And I'd like to start off with uh, Maxine Robinson. Uh, she's a triple threat. Uh, she's a youth coordinator for uh, HIV nonprofit, the uh, Women's Collective, and she uh, also uh, has a couple of courses over the University of Maryland. Maxine, um, let's talk about the confusion factor in regards to our youth and their sexuality. I mean, I don't know if we really want to say it's a confusion factor. Is there confusion? Um, I think that they're, they're not really confused as to who they are. They're coming into terms as to what it is that they want to be. So they have this, this point of time where they're just flexible enough to, to be who they want to be. I want to have purple hair, I'm going to have purple hair. I want to kiss a girl, I'm going to kiss a girl. I might want to go ahead and hang out with some dudes. I might just want to hang out with some dudes. Um, they really don't have this um, guidance or um, oftentimes these figures in front of them that are showing them, you know, this is what you have to be, This is these are your only choices. Mm -hmm. Now they have a lot of opportunity to be a lot of different things that they want to be now. They have all these different people that they see and all these different roles that they see being played. Um, they have some options. Right. Um, so it's not really being confused. It's dibbling and dabbling and testing this out and trying that out and see which one fit and they got plenty of time I was sitting here reading one of my friends um, Facebook statuses and the girl was like you know I'm just tired of dudes and another girl replied oh you got two options either you be celibate or try girls right see we didn't there was a point of time how old was she was do you know how she I mean, was she was like in her middle 20s late 20s um, you know we living longer now so we've got a lot of opportunities I'll be married for 25 years and I'll go ahead and maybe I'll try girls after that or I'll try guys after that or you know so I think as young people they're, they're seeing that that it's not this this box that they've been boxed in for so long right now the reason why I asked that question and I think that one of the reasons why people are using the word confusion in regards to our youth because we know that their minds are very impressionable and they're young and they're in their whole you know, who am I? You know, what am I? You know, what are these options out here? You know, am I this? Am I that? So really there, and we know for a fact, the human mind really isn't developed into adulthood until you're 25 years old. So when you have all these different, you know, your friends saying these things, the radio saying this, the video saying this, then there's, I think that it can lend to a little bit of confusion. Now, uh, Keisha has stepped into the room, and we're going to get to her in just a second. And you're, uh, of course, living the lesbian lifestyle, and I want to get you in after we speak to Brother Dro, okay? Mr. Victorious. Yeah, I think, and again, I think there's no, the problem that I have is the balance. And if I, being a teacher and being an educator for about the past 10 years, there is no balance. There's nobody saying there's no one talking about your, what's going on inside of you. Everything is external. So right. this is why we put on the fancy color hair and all of these clothes and all these different things because no one is dealing with what's inside of you. And I think the hypersexualization, whatever it may be, whether it's heterosexual, whether it's homosexual, whatever it, that you decide, it's, it's, it, what it is, it's hypersexual. Mm -hmm. And we're not dealing with the, the inside of our youth. And this is why we see all these external things being like flashed and, 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 and our, our kids are... Uh, presenting themselves externally. That's why they have to have the Flash Jordans, but they don't have to have the 4.0. And I think media and all these different things and our parents, people not spending time with our kids and actually taking time to figure out what's going on, build the inside of you like we've been doing for thousands of years, right? right? We have lost that. And now our generation and our culture is, is, is susceptible to confusion. Right. But and, and this is not normal. Our kids, our kids aren't normally confused. Isn't that sim symptomatic of a larger society though? I mean, because look at, I mean, what do we look at? The man is the guy that has the most chicks. The man is the guy that has the rims. The man is that has a whole lot of money. The man uh, is is the person that has this so-called power. These are all external things that we're talking about. And those are all things that are false. Those are all things that are facade. Right. A man has a, a man. A man is not based on anything that is external. A man is based on internal features, responsibility, take nurturing, taking care of family. So these things are what makes a man. And these things, of course, are set aside. Uh, and these other things are put in front. And these are the things that our children go go after and go get and, and hypersexualization is just another piece to that right uh, regardless of whatever sexual preference you may have that's just another piece of that to that negative puzzle that we're not that we're not trying to fix okay brother victorious thank you so much keisha welcome to the show she's a little late but uh, she's here <laughs> where were you coming um as far just to piggyback on what everyone else was just talking about um i don't see as as far as myself is concerned i don't see myself as confused um I've been on both sides of the, the bench. 
and I realized. <laughs> 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 the no, she did like this basketball. <laughs> you know, man, I first started out shooting layups, and now I'm on Benner Road, and now I, but I'm at the I, Rising I, Center now. Just. Yeah, we got to keep it 100. I've been on both sides of the bench. Stupid and dope moves. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't call it confused. I was just, I, I weighed out my options. I seen what was best for me. I am my own person. Once you get older. How did you and, figure that out though? When did you know that, hey, look, I'm a lesbian and this is how I want to live my life? Oh, the day I was confident. The day I, I, I took this responsibility and I put it on my back mm -hmm. and I let my family know who I was right. and I let myself know who I was. That's when I knew I was a lesbian. No one else could tell me I'm a lesbian. No one else could tell me I'm straight. Like right now, I'm looking at you. You're a handsome dude. I'm comfortable with my sexuality enough to say that. But no disrespect to nobody. If Lauren London came around, I'm 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 man, man, <laughs> man. Lauren London, right? Man, you find her attractive. <laughs> man. What? <laughs> what? That's Lil Wayne's girl, right? He Man, has a baby with her, hey, right? check this out. And it might be Trey girl too, but if I had sperm to get her pregnant, I would. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me being me, but I'm, wow. this, that's just me being comfortable with myself. You know, I understand. I know how to be respectful as well as keep it 100. If you don't like it, change the channel. But other than that, I'm just pure entertainment. I'm gonna give you what you you don't expect me to say, but I'm gonna say it because it. It's me. Okay. Phone calls next, but first let's get to the Facebook and the uh, Twitter. Sharice is here. By the way, while she's getting prepared, our phone number is 1-800-450-7876. Again, that's 1-800-450-7876. We'll take your calls when Sharice is done right here. Go ahead. Okay. On Twitter, love to write 73 says, it's not all about wanting male attention. Some girls are just absolutely curious about sexual contact with other women. Um, Double O says that the abundance of sex in the media makes it easier for them to be confused and no one is protecting the vulnerable minds anymore. And then Mr. R.929 says, I think Nicki Minaj has started a wave of new wannabe gay lesbians. She's confusing kids. Blame it on Nicki. <laughs> She's confusing All her the kids fault. into thinking that it's cool. Mm, my goodness. All right, phone calls right now, Adam. Let's see who we got on the line. Okay, cut your radio down, please. Please listen to us through uh, your, your phone, all right? Whoever that person is, put them on hold, Adam. All right, let's go to the next caller. Cut your radio down. Thank you so much. Next caller, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Lyric, let's go. You have a great life. <laughs> Okay, so you're saying you you have children, Lyric? I have a 16-year-old. And you would not allow your child to be, uh, is it a boy or a girl? A girl. Okay, so you would not allow her to be in a lesbian relationship, is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, let me ask you this. How would you stop her from being a lesbian? Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so somebody's been in Proverbs and Genesis. I can feel it. I don't know if it turns into a, a spiritual Bible discussion, but I appreciate your comment, though, Lyric, and I look forward to having you on this show as well, okay? All right, thank you. Also, Jose, they called in uh, uh, earlier. Now, um, Maxine, you have a comment. Go ahead. Um, yesterday I just had a group with about 10 girls at our office and um, you know these girls come from different backgrounds different um, you know, families and a lot of the times these girls start expressing different questions that they have that they haven't been free enough to ask in their households um, so a lot of them who come from households where um, they've been in a really religious uh, background they don't have that time to be free enough to go okay I have questions these other girls who are in these free uh, um, opportunities they start answering these questions for them thank God I'm there to guide them in the right direction and give them factual information but um, when you really put it in that sense where oh you know we live in this house 
household, we don't do this here, it's not allowed. Okay, they're going to find that information from somewhere else. Um, giving them that open space to ask questions and ask why and what's this and what's that and educating them instead of just saying, no, this is what we do, this is the way it is. Right. You really are stifling them. You're not giving them the chance to fully grow. Right, not to choking say them out. Decision. You're not saying they're making whatever okay. decision that is. You know, one thing that uh, is happening, and I'm glad you alluded to that before we go into the break, is this. That is where the pressure comes from on our youth that's make the we could sometimes say that that is what's pushing some of our young people to the edge to commit suicide, to get involved with drugs and alcohol. And we will get into that discussion with salt and pepper in just a minute and take your calls at 1-800-450-7876. So, Kev, you're listening to WOL, where information is power. News Talk, 14...